Thank you so much for tuning in today. I am Japel, your host for the Japel TV show. This is the show where we talk about relationships, love, sex, entrepreneurship, a little bit of spirituality, and everything in between. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Japel TV show. I am your host, Japel. Um, let me introduce my guest, Jeff Rita. How have you been, Jeff? I'm doing great. I'm really good. Good? Yeah. Good. How's your week been so far? Week is long, busy, yeah, but yeah. productive. We like productive yeah. weeks. It's only Thursday. I can definitely relate to that. Had a busy morning, also a busy week. I've been running around crazy. All right. That's, I guess, that's the name of the game. When you own a business, you have to wear many hats. You have to just be on the go, right? All right. Entrepreneur. You can relate to that. All right. <laughs> All right. So, just to get a little, dig a little bit deeper, more details in how my week is going. Uh, last show, I uh, went over some things with you guys that I, issues that I run into with being a business owner. Um, so, this week, um, I'm actually having an issue with my landlord, the person that I'm leasing from. Like, he never responds to me. But I understand, I mean, I've been at being a business owner, like he probably is busy or whatever, but like I'm trying to like move to the next like location and like trying to get things moving, but I'm like kind of at a standstill, right? So sometimes you'll run into issues like that where you have to be on like waiting on idle time, waiting on for someone else or whatever, but it's just the name of the game. You know, it's just something that you have to go through uh, being a business owner. Can you relate to that, Jeff? I can definitely relate. I think having contracts written out is a, is a must. Absolutely. And having everything in the beginning before things kind of get stirred up is, is important. So have everything locked down in the beginning before you know, anything else can happen. You know, contracts. Sure. I completely Locking agree with that. Locking contracts in. You know, if you have any concerns, issues, bring them up early. You know, because them landlords can be tricky sometimes. Absolutely. I completely yeah. agree with that. Like, so the issue I'm having is, I think I touched, I don't know if I touched on this, but I'm, Having an issue, well, not really an issue, but one of my employees uh, inquired about one of the spaces that I had, what had planned on renting from my landlord. And so I set up the meeting with her, but it was supposed to be for a different location that I really didn't care about. But he ended up bringing up the location that I was intending to move to. So it's like this whole fiasco with her asking me and him telling her to talk to me first and it's just kind of like this back and forth thing and i'm like no mm -hmm. you know what i mean like i've built this business relationship the plan was to move to your other locations that you own and you're right like i should have gotten that in the contract in the beginning but i didn't mm -hmm. so now here i am like waiting on idle time but everything will work out it's just the name of the game you know part of it but speaking contracts will protect you so Absolutely. I'm learning that myself, actually, in business. Yes, business yes. Everything is a learning process. Yeah. Like, I feel like you just learn as you go. Mm -hmm. You grow, learn, grow as you go. Like I think one of the things, man, that we are scared of in business is, like, the what ifs. Like, somebody might sue you. We might have to sue somebody. You know I mean, we might <laughs> right. be serious. Like, there's situations like that, you know Absolutely. what I mean, where you might have to, you know, go down them lines. You know, yeah, because people are weird and landlords are weird friends are weird right i'm like it's just kind of like a weird situation right because like she's i hired her as an employee but we've gotten a little close and that's another lesson that i'm learning like do not befriend your employees because if you have to fire somebody or she's doing a, a horrible fucking job you know what i mean you want to be able to draw that line boss employee and have you know yes, that a relationship absolutely. established and not you know go over the lines because mm. it's just that gray area is just kind of tough and that's kind of where i'm at right now which i'm i'm learning it's a lesson learned mm -hmm. like you just do not become friends with your fucking employees yeah <laughs> not best friends not best friends I mean. no so, mm -hmm. yeah. and no. those lines and contracts should be written out early too and, yes you know I mean? so, with employees so i feel you like should, um have a, a no compete contract with your employees <laughs> No competition, like yeah. if they want to open up a mm -hmm. their own coffee stand. You can't be within so you know within so many miles so of yours. Within, yeah, mm -hmm. I agree with that. Maybe I should mm -hmm. have that in the employee yeah. handbook. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, apply for other jobs. People do that. They will. Yeah. Yeah. Have you sign a contract? Don't compete. Mm -hmm. I think I will do that moving forward. Mm -hmm. Contracts, <laughs> contracts. 
protecting yourself, man. It's all about protecting yourself, especially mm -hmm. in business. I was talking to the guy that I buy coffee from, and I kind of like ran the scenario by him, and he was like, "There's no friends in business. That's your first mistake. Yes. <laughs> She's not your friend. This is business." And mm -hmm. I was like, "You're absolutely fucking right." It's very rare that you find a friend or an outsider that can come in, genuinely see what you built, and be on your team just because they genuinely see and, and can fit in their skills or whatever they can bring to the table. Mm -hmm. It's very rare, man. So when you find those people, man, keep them, keep them solid. You know. Yes. Yes. Sure. I feel like I found a good couple of. Um, well, my whole team is solid. I feel like, but you're right. Just like those people, you just know, like. That are for you and it's like really trying to you know, build with you mm -hmm. and not trying to take from you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? There, mm -hmm. there's a fucking difference. Right, right. <laughs> and well, I'm I learning. Think learning how to have goals that your employees can reach as well too for themselves is good too. So. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I'm all about just growing individually and as a team for mm -hmm. sure. For sure. For sure. What are, um, how's your business going? Go ahead and, pro you know, well, tell us oh, about what Jeffrey Tao's going. Well, she's <laughs> Jeffrey Tao. I'm yes. part of the Native. My business name is Umbrella Inc. Um, it's a screen printing business where we can put, supply you with screen printing, embroidery works, stickers, banners, posters, um, pretty much anything that you would need to market or brand yourself uh, starting your business, you know what I mean? Uh, or if you just want to make a simple t-shirt to, just to look cool in, mm -hmm. you know, I can do that for you too, you know, so does it all. Uh, yeah, design, graphic work, you know, to, to, to fit it onto a t-shirt, man, we do it all. Mm -hmm. know, so, yeah. Where can they find you? Um, we are located at 2205 North Lombard, uh, Portland, Oregon, um, to right on the corner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, he does a really good job. I've gotten some work done by Jeff. Um, I've vi visited his studio, or what do you mm -hmm. call it, your studio. Yeah. It's great. He has a whole setup, a whole team. They're very professional. Um, and you know, he told you where you can find him. What's your Instagram? We're on social media. Yeah, uh, umbrella underscore ink. On Instagram. You have a Facebook too? Um, not, not yet. Not oh, anti-Facebook. Huh? <laughs> I have a Facebook, but I'm like anti-Facebook. I mean, you can <laughs> umbrella ink on Facebook. Um, I just don't engage as much as I do on, on, uh, Instagram. Mm -hmm. yeah. Same here. Yeah. I have a Facebook <laughs> I don't know, it's just more drama on Facebook. Yeah, more but, drama, more old people, I yeah. feel like. Yeah. I've reached out to more people on Instagram. I've noticed yeah. for my business, mm -hmm. and, um, it's been more beneficial for me. I the, agree with that. Facebook. But I hear some people say, like, oh, Facebook makes me so much money. Like, the Facebook ads, and, mm -hmm. like, there's, like, different groups or whatever you can be a part of and promoting mm -hmm. those different groups. No, I'm pretty sure there's a way to market yourself on Facebook with, you know, touching other people aside of your friends. Um, right. You know what I mean? Which we, which what we want, you know? Exactly. Yeah, want so, it. actually, well, I think last week, I actually went on my Facebook that mm -hmm. I had. I paid somebody to professionally put together. It looks all good. However, mm -hmm. I'm never really on there. But I went on there last week, and I, like, found some spiritual yeah. groups, and some women, boss women groups, and entrepreneur groups, and joined, and, like, kind of posted in those groups. So, we'll see how that, mm -hmm. how that goes. Mm -hmm. Do you ever pay for the ads on Instagram? I've had, I've, I've had before. I've, they, they, I guess it works. I've got maybe one or two cl new clients off of oh, it. Oh, really? But yeah, I, mean, I think just being consistent on it, but mm -hmm. I'm just not consistent paying enough. But mm -hmm. I have tried. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I think it works. It definitely gets you out there with, with more followers and stuff, people following and engaging for sure. Well, so. I just did some little ads on Instagram for my uh, pop-up event that I got I told you guys about from last weekend that was really good su uh, a success mm. um, and I don't know if it really works I mean so you, you made a video and posted it from the, from the pop-up well no so I just when I was promoting it before the event and maybe I should have been promoting it every single day mm -hmm. but I promoted it like the two like two days before I was posting every day mm -hmm up until the event, but I did the boost post, like pay for ads, mm -hmm. like two days before. Mm -hmm. So maybe I should like yeah, do that. Before, yeah. <laughs> that. I guess that's not really a good way to gauge it, huh? <laughs> two days before. Um, What else are we going to talk about? Um, So I'll give you an update on my other business um, that I talked about, the Japel on Instagram, Japel underscore, with you can find my products. I do the bath salts, the spiritual bath kits, and I also do the spiritual bath swap service. So look at japel.com to uh, look at all those products. 
But I'm also working on uh, some new scents and fragrances and services for you guys. So again, check those out. I went to a nice uh, essential oils company here locally in uh, Portland. It's called Essential Oils Company. Um, they're really good. Check them out um, if you're into like making bath soaps, uh, bath bombs, or whatever have you. Uh, they're a really good company. They also offer wholesale accounts for, um, for business owners. So check them out. So look forward to some new products coming your way, okay? And all those spiritual things. All right, Jeff. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about it. Let's talk about, is it a good idea or not to work or do business with an ex? Because I feel like you and I can, we, well, for you guys who are out there, Jeff and I dated in the past, mm -hmm. so... What are, you, what are your thoughts on that? Dating or working with an ex. Working with an ex. It's like doing business with an ex. I think it depends on the people and uh -huh. on the scenario, on what the situation is going on. So I definitely think you can work with an ex, yes. Uh-huh. Um, I can. I'll speak for myself. <laughs> <laughs> but just, um, you know, if it's genuine, you're keeping it professional, um, you, know, you're, you know, you're just keeping it genuine, I think you can do it, you know, for uh -huh. sure. So. I don't know. For me, I mean, I've always, I'm always going back and forth with you. Like, mm -hmm. just always like a gray fucking area. I'm well, always I like, let's do business. You. And then I'm like, no, we shouldn't do business. Then I block you. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to talk to Jeff anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm a genuine person. And you are a genuine person. At the end of the day, guy. I'm a very resourceful person. Absolutely. I, I like agree to be with that. resourceful, so. I agree you know. with that. And that goes, like, you being resourceful. And that also, like, one of my reasons why I feel like it is a good idea is because we're a people of color, right? We want to like support our own people, support each other. And I feel like, especially in what you're doing, like you're the biggest person here to do it. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I always want to like get some stuff done. I'll like try and go off to somebody else and it won't work. I'm like back to Jeff. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So I just like to keep the money flowing between our people. So that's, that's cool. one of the main like things that I feel like it is a good thing to work with an ex on, on that perspective. Mm -hmm. But you know, this is <laughs> for me, like once again I can speak for myself. Mm -hmm. I understand that what I've done and what I've built is bigger than myself. So mm -hmm. I don't like to burn bridges with my exes or you know, we we never had yeah. bad blood or anything like that in the first Absolutely place. So not. Yeah. Um, I respect everything you do. You as mm -hmm. a person, as a mother, as a woman. Um, so, you know, it's like I'm here to help. You know, either way, mm -hmm. if I can help and be resourceful, I'm gonna do that. Absolutely, yeah, for sure. Cheers to that. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you so much for <laughs> coming today. Yeah. You know, I really appreciate the support coming yeah. through. This is a new show. Really excited, but I'm excited for you. Just to conclude, though, like working with the ex, mm -hmm. I do think I'm kind of like still going back and forth, guys. You'll have to like DM me to, to figure out how this is gonna be going for me <laughs> once again this depends on the person people you know the scenario um if you want to even put energy into that sometimes mm -hmm. it's not even worth the energy you know um yeah. and at the end of the day we don't want to be toxic or right um you know put out bad vibes or energy absolutely um, so but we, sometimes i feel like it's inevitable like mm -hmm. especially just to like kind of touch on mm -hmm. us like there's a situation like for instance i like went to you for some work and my ex now he's my ex i'm, I'm single but my partner that i was with at the time that i got yeah. work done from jeff you know he didn't really voice it voice it but i could tell like he felt some type of way mm -hmm. you know what i mean so that's another issue i feel like you know working with the ex is your partner secure enough for you to even do that mm -hmm. you know what i mean definitely. Um, once again, it's the vibes and the energy that's put out, you know, and people, if they can't, tr you know, trust you and you're being honest with them, you know, it's not really your fault at all. So that's, that's a bad that, sign. Red you know, flag. That's something that they have to work <laughs> Insecurity. On right, right. So, <laughs> you know, um, I hate that, that when you get into a relationship, sometimes your spouse doesn't want you to be friends with your ex or mm -hmm. just be friends with, other, you know, another female or male mm -hmm. friend period mm -hmm. so that's just mm -hmm. tough you know and mm -hmm. you, you gotta be a person that can draw the line as well too you know open and, communication yeah, i feel open. like a lot of people are just don't have open communication are kind of scared to communicate mm -hmm. you know they're probably scared of the response that they'll get it's probably not oh, the yeah. response that they are hoping absolutely. for absolutely even though it is true mm -hmm. you know what i mean i think that that 
saying you, you can't handle the truth. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of people cannot handle the fucking mm-hmm. truth. And it's really sad. <laughs> right. Because even though you know it's not what you want to hear, the truth is just the best thing for both both people, all people involved. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? A lot of things can be resolved and like nip in the butt if people are just truthful, honest, and willing and open to accepting the truth. Absolutely. Life is too short not to accept the truth and speak the truth. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. definitely. Um, mm-hmm. If it's not making you feel happy, if it's putting you at unease or bad vibes, you gotta let that shit go. Let, let that go. shit go. <laughs> you know, so. How is your love life, Jeff? Are you dating? Um, my love life sucks. <laughs> my love life sucks. My love is my shop and my business and what I do for that and, and my kids. Mm-hmm. Um, but personally, my, my with another woman, no, I'm not dating. Um, I'm not seeing anybody. Mm-hmm. I'm just single working. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, that cheers is to Jack. being single. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm single yeah. as well. I think, you know, you got to figure yourself out before you can try to put yourself in a situation where you're trying to make someone else happy. Absolutely. You know, so, I yeah, relationships are tough. And if you get yourself in, you know, financially, mentally straight, you know, then put yourself out there to, mm-hmm. you know, join forces with somebody. Man, that mentally part, that's, that, that's the one. Mm-hmm. That is the fucking one. Because I feel like a lot of men that I come in contact with, they think because they're financially stable that there's just you know shit you know mm-hmm. they got it going on but it's like where's your soul like what what's going on with the insides here okay mm-hmm. where's your heart where's your mind right. you know what i mean like what is i think everyone has an exception or like a, a goal that they would like to have in their relationship a, a vision right so first get yourself financially right protect yourself you know protect your business get your stuff you know, right, right. You know, where it needs to be, and then, like I said, you know, if you can build forces with somebody and, and it works, and you guys can be on, like, build goals and achieve them together, that's like the most. Right, that's the thing, ultimate, right? right? Yeah, so that's the fucking ultimate. The goals have to align, the energy has to align, and you know, just create good vibes. I don't know. Me personally, I feel like my last relationship did not work because, like, the person felt like because they were so financially secure that they're just I have to accept whatever the fuck they want to give me you mm-hmm. know what I mean as far as their behavior or how I'm being treated and it's like no fuck you yeah. I don't care if you have more money than me or whatever you have going on or you know what I mean like I am not going to stand to be mistreated Absolutely, okay. I agree. <laughs> all the fuck, all you guys out there listening okay just because you got a bag a nice car whatever the fuck you think you got going on if your spirit ain't right I ain't fucking with you Right. Bottom right. line. You know, I think for a man, <clears throat> every woman wants a man that can somewhat put them in position and can be successful. And if you can do that together, mm-hmm. um, you know, I think you'll build a great relationship, man. Mm-hmm. A healthy relationship. So Yeah, I think balance is key. Like I honestly I felt like this relationship was gonna be shit, probably it, I don't know, but I felt like we were balanced. Like I was more stronger spiritually and emotionally than he was I feel like and I kind of opened up that door for him to like explore the spiritual side of things and give him a different perspective and like he was more he was better with like saving money and like investing and he ha- helped me with that you know but mm-hmm. it was just yeah I don't that male ego is a, it's a motherfucker mm-hmm. yeah. and it takes time to get to know people too so that's true you know, I, I say try not to rush things expectations too much you know protect yourself <laughs> <laughs> yeah protect yourself Put the expectations out on the line early man so like nothing gets crossed and you're not leaving feeling some type of way you know what I mean so mm-hmm. yeah. I, I agree with that I am thankful for um, getting to know you the relationship and now our friendship like I respect you mm-hmm. highly as a father a businessman entrepreneur and all of those things mm-hmm. so you are a really good Friend, and I appreciate that and thank you so much for uh, stopping by today um, again if you guys want to find Jeff where are you located again 2205 North Lombard um, mm-hmm. right on the corner of Brandon and Lombard big great dude big great building yeah. mm-hmm. and on social media um, umbrella underscore ink on uh, IG 
Okay. Um, so that is it. I think we're going to wrap up, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us on Japel TV show today. Um, again, thank you for joining me. We're here to love, laugh, and grow together. Um, if you have any questions, you want to know how my love life is going or whatever, you can reach out to me in my DMs, Japel underscore, excuse me, Japel underscore TV underscore show at, uh, Instagram, uh, Instagram. So, well, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for tuning in today and sharing this sacred space with me. I'm your host, Japel. You can find me on Instagram, Japel TV Show. Hit me up in the DMs. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you next time. Ciao.